to do in. I have an outer net, so it's a dish and a chip computer and then a build board to chat to the satellite and we're going to set it up so we can get our weather, news and random Wikipedia articles uh, while we're out at sea. This dish is a receive only, outer net transmit 20 megabytes of data a day and that's enough to get all of our weather, some news and we can actually receive messages through it as well so I'll have to work that out. I initially got an extension cable for it, for the antenna, but I got the wrong type. So now I have a spare extension cable. I'm going to use a uh, camera mount to hold the dish and then a, another camera mount to attach it to the boat so we can point it in the right direction. So I'm attaching the satellite dish and then I'll aim it uh, south because we're in Canada. So everything south. The outernet is fairly forgiving with regard to direction, which is very useful seeing as we're on a boat. By the time we reach the Caribbean, we'll be aiming it straight up. Our next piece of kit is the V-Yacht, a wireless router which allows us to connect to the ship's instruments so that we can communicate with them programmatically. The SeaTalk signal cable is actually quite expensive, um, so I'm going to try to do a dodgy uh, and attach these little things directly to the um, pins in the um, in the sea talk. We'll see how that goes. They're called female disconnects. It didn't actually work very well, so I ended up biting the bullet and buying a cable off eBay. In order to put our mum's minds at rest, we ordered a spot which pings the boat's location to satellites every five minutes. The service gives us the ability to send daily updates to our family via email. My brother and sister-in-law are currently using the service as they ride around the world on motorbikes. Spot has an API which we'll use to make a live map on our website. In case of catastrophe, next we have the EPIRB. This is a category 1 EPIRB, meaning if it gets wet it will automatically activate. What do you think, Erky? Feel safe? I wanted to consolidate all of the ship's data into a single device, so I also installed a Raspberry Pi with a Sense hat because it looks cool. I connected a USB GPS receiver to the Raspberry Pi and also a software defined radio so that we can track other ships using AIS. At the end of our network, we have a little router which will either connect to local Wi Fi hotspots or mobile internet. Once everything was powered up and the lights were green, I jumped on the ship's network and checked out the instrument panel in the V yacht to confirm that the SeaTalk cable I had jerry rigged together was working. Fortunately, it was. Next, I checked out the outer net to confirm that it was receiving data as expected. Here you can see lists of news articles that I had picked up recently, and also weather for the next few days. The Raspberry Pi consolidates data from the ship's instruments, its own GPS receivers, and the outer net, and then is displayed using this Star Trek Next Generation themed Rails app that I'm working on. It's currently showing wind speed in this visualization, but it's also capable of showing temperature and ocean currents. Any device on the ship's network will have access to the ship's computer and we'll also keep a dedicated tablet near the helm. 
I'll add links to the ship's computer source code in the description below. If you have any thoughts on what we've decided to bring, or any suggestions on anything that we haven't included, please leave them in the comments.